and see one of the cutest baby pictures ever. This is Fable on her chart. Whoop, look how blue those eyes are. All right, so Fable, you're going to go to be the young girl has made it quite clear that she's going to be the mommy. So just so everybody knows, if they listen to just Fables, Fable is the one that came with uh, Black Mommy. And um, the, the person that owned Fable or excuse me, the first person that owned the mommy did it, only one of the mama. She, he did not want these babies. And I remember saying to him too, you know how to stop that, right? Mm -hmm. So I said, we will take the babies, but, but mama has to be spayed. So he brought her in and uh, we did spay her. And then she went home and hopefully she's happy ever not having any more babies. When Fable came in, she was one pound, four ounces. The majority of this six litter was all right there around 104 and today she weighs three pounds 12 ounces and these were the kitties that we sent up for the respiratory panel because we just wasn't quite getting them over it all the way although the three able kitties that are being adopted today all were the three strongest healthiest out of this the others will be okay but um, these three definitely are ready to go they've been on their medication for three days, or excuse me, three weeks, the last three days, we've cut them back to half dose. So today, uh, tomorrow starts their um, being off of it all the way. And I think they'll be fine. There's no sneezing, there's no runny eyes from them, no gunky anything from them. Their lungs are clear. So I think we got over the hump with these three. And the other ones, I uh, hope, will be adopted too soon. Um, Fable. Um, was born on November 30, 23rd, 23rd, 2018. And she's the one that has the bigger white tip tail. You can't hardly see that. There you can see it. There's two others that have tiny, tiny tip tails, but that's her ID. There was just a little bit of ID on them. You can tell she's just, she's all black. Once this will grow in, it'll be all black. So she'll be gone and we'll keep track of her. And we're gonna just help them to be really, really good cat owners. Yeah, I just think this will be good. And she says, but I'm not really a him, I'm a her. And it's been really cool because the last week and a half, their energy level and their appetite level has gone out of the roof. They're just crazy. Okay, we're going to let you take a little nappy, and then they're going. They're going shopping. They're going to get the proper um, dry food and one more litter box and the good kind of litter. And um, are they going to get you anything else? I think. Oh, and some more canned food, too, I believe. So I think uh, they'll, they'll do just fine. Thank you, Cat Daddy. All right, you're going to go sleepy again, aren't you? All right, they'll be back before 12, they thought. But this way, now we can just tuck her in their carrier and off they go. This is, <laughs> all of these guys, you know, we've messed with them from the day they've been here a lot because of them being sick. And they're just so cuddly. You ready? No. All right, thanks, folks. You guys have stuck with us, too, haven't you, with them? Her condition is, say... I'm an A plus. She's an A plus. Triple A. Triple A plus. Remember when her eyes were blue, blue, blue? Just love that picture. Mm. You can mm. tell. You guys were just teeny babies, little squirts. Mm. 